ignore these marks on my face. I was just trying to record uh, a video here and um, I had the ring light on, but it, I had my glasses on and it was like reflecting off of my glasses and it was annoying the shit out of me. So I took them off to start it over. But okay, this is gonna be really quick and it's very, very off topic. So um, if that's not your thing, like scroll away. But I'm also gonna be talking about eating disorders real quick. So if that's something you struggle with, you can scroll away too. Um, this is going to be a very quick video because I'm actually leaving for Tennessee in a few hours and I have not finished my laundry and I haven't packed and I'm just super behind on it and I have to shower, I have to do all this stuff. I don't really have time to be making this video, but I just need to say this because I opened up the, the app because I'm working with a student and she just needs me to sit here. So I usually just kind of do my own thing while she works. And I'm fucking bombarded, bombarded by people talking about Eugenia Cooney. I think that's her name. I think it's Eugenia, right? But here's the thing. Everybody talking about her is like slapping photos of her up on their backgrounds or whatever. And I just don't think you need to be doing this for one thing. But I'm going to be real with you before I get into anything else. I don't think Eugenia should have a platform. I think she should be completely plat deplatformed from all of the internet. I think having her have a platform is like the ultimate in just absolute like it's just so fucking irresponsible literally every single time she comes across my uh for you page i report her for promoting eating disorders i don't care um i'm not big on like mass reporting or reporting people when they haven't done anything wrong i think it's a cowardly way to go but i don't think she should have a platform quite frankly I think it's disgusting that uh, TikTok and anything else, any, any place else she is, I think it's disgusting that they allow her to be online because she knows what she's doing and it's fucking insidious and it's shitty. But here's the other thing. There are so many fucking people talking about her right now. Various topics, things she did wrong, problematic shit. I don't know anything about her beyond the fact that she is severely anorexic and is like, teehee, no, I'm not. When she weighs like 30 pounds, let's be real. I was severely anorexic for a very long time, 14 years. I almost died of my anorexia. And I've actually been in recovery longer than I was ever anorexic at this point. And I still struggle every day with food stuff. I'm going away for a week by myself, no one around. I had to put in a food order. It took me hours hours and ultimately my husband had to help me because I don't know how to feed myself I'm really really bad at it so if I didn't have him around I would not be doing as well as I am I'm very bad at it so maybe I'm just overly sensitive to eating disorder stuff but she knows what she's doing and it's fucked up she knows what she's doing and in her comment sections all these people I wish I looked like you I wish I looked like you I almost died of an eating disorder and I need to tell you that when you are, when it hurts to try to sleep, it's not fun. When it hurts to sit, it's not fun. When you stand up and all of your coworkers think you're going to drop dead, it's not fun. She should be deplatformed and it makes me fucking angry that she hasn't been yet. But here's another thing. Where do you see a picture of her right now around me talking about her? Nowhere. Because I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't post a picture of myself at my worst and I wouldn't post a picture of her and all these people talking about her posting pictures of her while they do it they're just as bad because they know what they're doing too they're talking about her and using her photo so people will stop and watch they're doing it for attention and for likes and views and monetization probably and it's gross stop doing that stop it because you might think that you're like bringing awareness or whatever it is you're doing. I don't watch any of these videos, but all you're doing is severely triggering. And I hate using the word triggering. I hate it. But all you're doing is severely triggering people like me who have suffered for years at the detriment of their health and have permanently altered their bodies and the way their bodies function. All you're doing is triggering them. Stop fucking using her photo, seriously. You're just as bad as her. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sick of opening this app and seeing this girl's face, okay? Maybe I had some. Of course, my son just walked in while I was ranting. 
Okay, what was I saying? Oh, maybe I had some empathy and, you know, some sympathy for her way back when I first found out who she was and such. But no more. No more. Because all I have seen is her jumping on and monetizing her sickness. I don't know what's going on with her and her family. I don't know what's going on with her and her weird mom. But all I see is her jumping on different platforms and um, allowing a comment section to gush over how beautiful she looks and this and that, promoting eating disorders, promoting a lifestyle that will just ultimately kill you, and um, and you know, teeing and acting like she doesn't know what she's doing. It's disgusting, and I'm sick of seeing her face. My student's dog just barked. I forgot to mute her. Anyway. Stop talking about Eugenia Cooney and using her face to get people to stop and listen to you. Stop it. And honestly, stop watching her. There's nothing cool about being anorexic. I'm so over it.